I don't think that will help. Ah, sure it did. Okay, in real life, it wouldn't help. <laughs> I have no idea what you, what you speak. Of course it would help. It's the best way to fix your car. Remember, viewers, if your car breaks, grab a sledgehammer. Hey, Arthur Fonzarelli used to do similar things, and it worked for jukeboxes. <laughs> Please tell me you got that. Yeah, okay. happy days. <laughs> yeah, I, I have worked at places with people who didn't know who the Fonz was. It's a really geeky thing to know. <laughs> eh, not really. Happy Days was a pretty popular show. Do you even know how to fix a car? He knows how to be a car. Turn into a jet like a boss. What's the grill? Can you eat off the grill? Mm. You're gonna knock the mouse pad on the car. I have more important things to do. Ironically. No, this is pure, unadulterated irony. Uh. That he just mauled you, you mean? Yeah. You know who that was, right? The guy you've just been fixing his motor. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> hmm? Um, don't <laughs> fiddle while driving. Please. <laughs> And viewers, if you're out there, don't fiddle while driving either. No matter how you interpret the word fiddle. Although The Devil Went Down to Georgia is a really good song. <laughs> yes. I cannot play the violin like that. I cannot play the violin. <laughs> mm.
You know, that's the thing our character should buy. Mega Man? A car. Mega Man was a good option, too. He seems like the kind of guy who likes challenging platformers. Apparently skipping rope sometimes gives you a good mood for a little while. All the training seems to. Me versus the perfectly balanced stat guy. That's the same stat levels as me, technically, I think. Overall stat levels. You have more lightning than him, though. And if you win, you might say, you just might say you could steal his thunder. My job is to make you cringe. It's true. He has no stamina, so he's going to attack less. And he's getting kicked in the face. Yes, having three moves equipped is better than having two. Getting kicked in the face also just sucks in general. <laughs> I don't I don't recommend to any of my viewers getting kicked in the face. Jeff Hardy lost a tooth recently getting kicked in the face. I think he was kicked in the face and what did it? I'm going to test something now. Spar fight. That costs so much money. It does. I just spent 20 bucks to get punched by a guy. Basically. Does it do anything for you? I don't know yet. It's well, why don't you know? Testing things. Why don't you know things? Because knowing things is hard. Is the science? Is the you're supposed to know things? Because there will be a test. And I got more skill points. Oh. So spar test successful. Is, so spar fighting is better than losing matches. Backhand oh. high punch.
And I need to get yellow. It's flowers. It's flower. Flower. Yellow. Yellow. It's true. Go earn some money so I can do the whole go to the gym thing. And the buy some friggin' pizza thing. Yeah. <laughs> Copious amounts of pizza. Just like, suspiciously large amounts of pizza. Like, they'll start wondering what you're doing. <laughs> Be like, are you having like a party every friggin' week, man? No. I don't have friends. <laughs> There's some people who make me want to repair their cars. <laughs> This is oddly true. Something wrong with that Roy guy. I don't trust it. I did sign up for that fight, right? Yeah, I have a fight tomorrow. Oh, I need the tag for white flowers as well. You can't prove any differently. Hello! Screw the strength stat. Kinky. Uh... Dang it. <laughs> Oh, just shy of... Now, go into my fight. Because that was completely necessary. <laughs> yeah, if you dropped down right before the fight, it would have been pretty crap. <laughs> <laughs> and it's him again. And he's beating the crap out of me still. I've 